All right, guys, those of you who've been playing Forza Horizon 5 for the last couple of weeks probably would have already known that there was a crazy $999 million money glitch in Forza Horizon 5 that took place in the Horizon Super 7. And you could actually use this glitch to get maximum credits inside of Forza Horizon 5. Then because of this glitch, the auction house was closed. However, some time has passed, the glitch has been fixed, and the auction house is now open. Playground Games actually went ahead and rolled back player credits to however much you guys would have had on November 10th, which was a date before the glitch occurred. Now as promised, I'm going to be dedicating this video to showing you guys the current working money glitches in Forza Horizon 5, and more specifically, show you guys how to get skill points fast, and I'm also going to be showing you guys the new best methods to farming regular and super wheel spins. Another major change recently is that the cars in the auction house actually had their maximum buyouts reset, so it's now a lot cheaper to get some super wheel spins for the most part. However, these prices are soon going to be rising, so the main premise of this video is actually going to be showing you guys how to get unlimited skill points and then show you guys how to get unlimited super wheel spins because eventually these cars are going to go up and it's going to cost a lot more money to go ahead and get these super wheel spins. So be sure to watch this video through to see these new methods and also be sure to make use of the timestamps provided so you guys can navigate to the portions of the video that you're most interested in. In addition to this, if you guys are wondering how to unlock the all new Series 14 cars instantly, such as the new Lincoln Co. 100, the Ferrari SF90 Straddle, and more, check out the new Series 14 Forza Horizon 5 modded accounts and personal account mods now available at MitchCactus.com, not to mention they currently have over 4,000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page, which reflects the quality of their services. You guys can use Mitch Cactus to supply you with the cars that are now seemingly unavailable in the auction house, and be sure to use my code Eradicate in the checkout for 5% off your purchase but act fast because this won't be sticking around for long. So to start, go and make sure you have the Chevy Corvette Forza Edition and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a good tune on the car. So I'll be sure to include one in the description of this video. Apart from this, you should also make sure you upgrade everything in the skill mastery tree so that you can guarantee you earn the most amount of skill points while doing this race. Now, once that's all taken care of, you can go to the event lab, event blueprints, and then enter the share code I am here. This is going to show you an AFK race and you're going to want to start the event and then go into difficulty and settings and copy the settings I have on screen now. So once the race loads up, all you need to do now is just hold down the gas, you know the drill, tie a rubber band or, or a string around your controller, put a weight on your keyboard, basically just let this race play out while holding down the gas and you're going to achieve high skill chains and that's going to give you guys hundreds of skill points. Now remember you can end the race at any point by pressing the e-brake and once you've finished the race and have got yourself some skill points, we can now begin converting them into regular and super wheel spin. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the best cars for farming super wheel spins after the recent update in Forza Horizon 5. So if you guys are looking for super wheel spins, you can get the Bugatti Devo for around 2 million credits and the skill tree does include 50,000 credits back 20,000 XP, which is essentially at least one free regular wheel spin from leveling up, and regular wheel spin, and two super wheel spins. So the rewards for this car are absolutely insane, and it's easily one of the best methods to use for farming. Additionally, you guys can sell this car afterwards and make the money you spent back. Therefore, you're basically going to get two regular wheel spins and two super wheel spins for free using this method. This car used to be a lot cheaper before the auction house shut down, but don't worry because some of these next cars are actually cheaper than they were before, so it ends up working out. The next car is the 1987 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Forza Edition, which can be purchased in the auction house for 300,000 credits. However, you can always bid on one and try to get it for less credits. And the cool thing about this vehicle is that you can get two super wheel spins from the skill mastery tree. So it's definitely another great car for farming. Next, we have the 1953 Chevy Corvette Forza Edition, which costs about 500,000 credits. This car includes a super wheel spin, 15 Forzathon points, and a whopping 100,000 credits. And lastly, we've got the Zenvo TSRS, which costs around 1 million credits. However, it does have a starting bid around half that price. This car includes 15,000 credits back, one regular wheel spin, and two super wheel spins. Now, there are other vehicles which can be used for farming. However, these are the best, I believe, for farming, as most of them provide two super wheel spins. And again, with the new update, you no longer have to buy too many cars from the auction house. You can simply sell the cars you use to farm wheel spins, and even if nobody buys them, you can reclaim them, and the skill mastery tree will be reset, giving you the ability to get more wheel spins from them. 
So essentially every method is an infinite farming loop. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing the most broken method to make money in Forza Horizon 5, check out this video here to see how to turn 50,000 credits into well over $3 million. And this method can be repeated however much you like. 